What is up guys and gals, it's Thomas Fan one here and today we are back again at it with another Transformer figure review and first thing before we continue, please ignore the washing machine in the background, I apologize, it's a little louder than I expected, but at the same time, what can I do? I can't do much. So, anywho, today there we are back at it again, like I said, with another Transformer figure review and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series 86 Voyager Class Ratchet. Oh yeah, we're taking a look at Ratch today, baby. We are taking a look at today, looking at Ratch today. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. It's Ratchet. So, anywho, it's pretty much every Ratchet mold or every Ironhide mold is going to be a Ratchet mold, and every Ratchet mold is going to be an Ironhide mold, at least for any you know generations or you know in this case G1 looking figures. Now this is would be in this would not be normally where we would take a look at the packaging. Well, I do not have the packaging because, well, this is the story of this Transformer. Um, I got it for like 35% off at Target. So I ended up getting this for 30% off because they left the sign up and they left the sign up and they had to honor it and the box was damaged and the box being really damaged, but the figure inside was just fine. I still have the backdrop floating around my room somewhere, but I don't know where. So, oh, by the way, new layout, so, or new backdrop, should I say. So, anywho, um, so basically this thing is just a, it's just, it's basically Studio Series 86 Ironhide, just, you know, just white, and basically, you know, weapons are exactly the same. Once again, please ignore the blister that is on my thumb, it is healing, um, I burnt myself once whilst uh, lighting a campfire. So, yeah. So, anyhow. So, here are the guns. They're basically exactly the same as Ironhide's. Exactly the same. So, I'm going to take these and remove them off the side. So, and, and the only difference with this is the fact that he has some sirens on top and they are removable and Ironhide has the same exact pegs and the same exact pieces that are on Ratchet can be put onto Ironhide. So if you have Ironhide or the regular old Studio Series 86 Ironhide, not the damaged version not the, or the Buzzworthy Bumblebee version, uh, you know, I mean, you, ha you can still use them on both versions. I mean, just, you know, one's damaged, one's not. So they you can plug them on just know this is i i will show you where you can plug them on that him in robot mode so anyway now uh take note this figure is going to be subdued to yellowing and as you can clearly tell this has already started um i did not do this 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 one is already yellowed a little bit more i don't know if you can tell but literally right out of the box, and I can't really do anything about this, and I'm really not going to complain because this is a figure I paid $20 for. So, anywho, now that we've done that, we're going to get into scale comparisons because y'all know we love them scale comparisons. So, here he is with Transformers Earth Voyager Class Earthrise Starscream. He's next to Voyager Class Siege Megatron. I am so excited we're getting a Studio Series version of him. I'm so excited. Certain laws may be broken for that figure. Here it is next to Earthrise Leader Class Optimus Prime. And once again, we're also getting a Studio Series version of him as well. Uh, Studio Series 86 version of him as well. So, here it is with our previous Studio Series review. Here it is with the Studio Series Buzzworthy Bumblebee Shockwave. Voyager Shockwave. Please ignore the lint that just fell in front of the screen. And finally, here it is with the Buzzworthy Bumblebee Studio Series 86 Ironhide, just so you can get a sense as to where all of this is going to look. So, yeah, there it is. And so, just like Ironhide in every other review, now we can transform the figure. So, 
how we're going to do that, well, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a whole heck of a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be really fun. So first thing you can do is you're going to come to the back of the van and you're basically just going to kind of bring all of this down and around. So just going to bring it down and then you're going to bring the window section and just kind of bring them in. But you're going to want to split this open first and then you're going to collapse the bottoms of this van up and then you're going to shimmy this down and straighten it out down like that and then push these flaps down like that and that's basically how that's going to look and then you're going to come to this top section and you're going to want to split it and then you're going to want to kind of separate this panel here you get this this is super super snug and it hooks around behind this piece here and you're going to want to get pull this around and then bring this down a little bit and then bring this down uh bring this panel down and then push this up and then bring this panel down and then close this all up like that and then straighten the leg out and then you have a leg all done then you can bring an arm around and that will just free up some space. Then you can push the windscreen forward and that will just free up this panel here and that will leave you more room. So basically then we can undo everything here and what did not show was this piece untabbing here. You're gonna want to undo that. You're gonna bring this around and then do this again on the other side. This side's a little more snug and then you're going to close this down, straighten the arm out, or straighten the leg out, excuse me, and then bring this arm around. Now, you're going to come to the front of the vehicle here, and you're going to take this bumper section and bring it all the way down, and you're going to lift this section here, it's going to untab, and you're going to completely rotate it all the way around, like so, and then you're going to bring it all the way forward, you're going to bring this crotch panel all the way down, you're going to bring this windscreen down, you're going to fold these window pieces all the way in, and then you're going to come into the chest section here, and you're going to fold out the head and rotate it, and then you're going to take this and kind of just angle it just so to a point where it'll collapse everything into place. And then you can close all of this up, tab the chest into the abs, and then you can take the back panel here and you can just line all this up. And this will just friction over these two pieces here and it will just kind of secure everything. And then you can take the arms and you can re-tab them into place. They just kind of thoop straight up, and then you can take these and straighten them out. Do the same thing, fold out the hands like so, straighten it all out like so, and bring the hand, bring in the guns like right here and right here. And there you have Studio Series 86 Ratchet in his robot mode. And I think this is nice. Although I kind of want a Studio Series wanted. Okay, this is kind of morbid of me. But I want a Studio Series 86 two-pack of um, Brawn and Ratchet. But I want them in the style of that. I want them in the style of these two. So, please, Hasbro, can you make my dreams come true and let this happen? Just please. I, I really would like this to happen because then I can complete the dead bots in the spaceship and make my make it all happen. It would just be it would just make my dreams come true. You know, just 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 to know that Hasbro has a morbid side to them. So anywho, um so this figure is a lot of white, and the first couple of times I transformed this guy, there was a lot of paint chipping, and um, that foot here, it, it it's still pretty. It's it's already it's already starting to yellow. I'm I'm, it's still pretty noticeable, and I'm not real too thrilled on that. But at the same time, I've never had a figure that is ever yellowed, and this figure is going to be the first one. So I'm you know seriously, knock on wood, people. That I'm this is I'm a case this is the case of I've never had a figure yellow in my life and this is the first time I've ever purchased a figure and then like literally a week later it's like starting to yellow so anywho now that we've taken a look at him out of the box and we've gotten him transformed now we can get him into you know what 
you know what time it is. It's skill comparisons. So, anywho, here he is with Earthrise Starscream. Earthrise Voyager Starscream. Here he's next to Siege Voyager Megatron. Here he's next to Earthrise Leader Prime. And honestly, this scale does kind of work. Here he's next to our previous review. Here he is next to the Bumblebee movie Shockwave. I'm so excited. They brought the light piping back with this guy. And finally, here he is next to the Studio Series 86 Buzzworthy Bumblebee Ironhide. And these guys look pretty unique together and it's just, it's definitely something that's just like you know oh repaints only this is a slight remold great got any more but anywho it is you know it is enough to make them uniquely their own characters so anywho um as you can clearly see there are these two little nubbin pieces on the back of the calves of ironhide and there is the Siren pieces on the back calves of Ratchet here. And if you just remove the siren pieces, you can place them on the top of, or on the back calves of Ironhide. And when you get him into his van mode, he then has a siren on him. So then he will look like a fire rescue van for all I know. But that's not who these belong to. They belong to Ratchet. So I'm going to remove this guy out of the way, and then we'll get on to final thoughts on this guy. So anyhow, so final thoughts on this guy, minus the fact that the yellowing is start like is happening right out of the packaging. I don't know if it comes off very well on camera, but the yellowing is happening to my naked eyes. But I can't. I don't know if it comes off very well on camera. Tell me if it does. So anywho, um. My final thoughts on this character, I mean, it, well, it's Ratchet. Y you gotta have yourself a Ratchet for Studio Series 86. You just got to, you know? So, I'm just really more excited for what's coming down the line. I mean, this guy I may or may not keep. It's it all depends, you know. It's 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 just a, it's just a, it's just another transformer to build up that collection. So, anywho, I would probably have to rank this. I'm gonna have to just rank it a six and a half to seven out of ten. I mean, the transform, the transformation is fluent enough where it's not pure cancer. It's you know, it's not the worst thing on the planet to hold. I mean, it. The only difference, really, that's you know, I mean, I know G1 Ratchet and Ironhide were exactly the same, but I mean, you could have, the very least, made this better differences to a character than. Just, just some sirens. Seriously, that's it. That's all there was. You know, you, you all, all there was. This is the only difference between the two characters to my, to my eye. Other than that, the molds are the same, the plastics the same, the head sculpt is pretty much the same. You know, I mean, well, the head sculpt is not the same. I mean, it, it, okay, okay, I, I will take, I will take that statement back. The head sculpt is not the same, and they, that is one defining thing that makes them a different character. My apologies. My apologies, people. I did catch my mistake before I before I totally ended this video. I don't, did catch it, and I am willing to eat my own mistakes. So, anywho, um, like I said, six and a half to seven out of ten. I'm not gonna give this thing a too high, too extremely high rating, but I am gonna give that give it that because you know, hey, it's. It's Ratchet. I mean, I do like the white and red paint scheme a little bit more than I like the red and gray paint scheme. I do like I do like this a little bit more. I just don't think it works as an ambulance or the medic. So, anywho, this is Thomas Santa One saying, "Do not forget to check out Planet Toys, a world built by collectors." Where I will leave a link to down to the down in the description to them and if you do check out with them down below you can get yourself 10 percent off as to which they have 
some new product coming in and they i swear are getting some hot wheels in i promise i promise i'm not 100 certain of what hot wheels they're getting but i did get wind that some hot wheels are crashing on it so anywho if you do check out with them like i said you can use that 10 percent off so be aware of that Anywho, this is Thomas Santa one saying, do not forget to check out Optination Reviews, Beastman Reviews, Riveted Reviews, Jordy's Rail Videos, Patrick with the Y, iStar552, Bravely GG, and Take Along Productions. I know they all do some amazing work and have done so in the past and will continue to do so in the future. And this is Thomas Santa one saying, do not forget to keep playing with your toys. Goodbye.